Hello everybody. So today I will talk about calculus. The topic today is about line integral. So now I will show you how to answer. The first thing we need to evaluate the vector field. So we have the formula in here. So we know that this one that is for s, this one that is for y, and this one that is for z. Now we have negative three s in here, so we need to change s into side t. The next one we have for y, so we have y that's about this one in here. Now we need to put cosine t chain for y. The next one that is about z, so we put t chain for z. Now, let's go to the next one. We need to do the derivative of vector function. So that should be about this one. First, the derivative of psi t, we have cos t. First, the derivative of cos t, we have negative psi t. And the last one, that is about number one. Next, we need to use about the dot product between this one and this one. I, I need to put first the derivative in here. So we have this one multiplied by this one. So we need to follow based on the vector in here. This one multiplied by this one. Two t and number one, we have two t. So we simplify. Now we can use about light intervals. So we have this one in here. And we have the interaction from 0 to 3b over 2. And now we put this one going here. So for this one, I can put about number 2 over 2 because we can use the formula in here.
We know that two side t equals side t. We change by side two t. The integration of side two t with the negative, we will have seven over two, and one over two cosine two t. This one we have t square. And we put the bounds from 0 to 3p over 2. Now we put this one cone here, number 0 cone here. And we have the final answer. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.